Charles Colton in 1824 wrote this. He said, imitation is the, high, is the most sincere form of flattery. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery in 1824. Little did he know that Glenn Beck and Bill O'Reilly would come to life to enact his adage that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. I want you to listen to uh, Hemorrhoid talking to the leprechaun in clip number one. We have a very bad scenario headed our way where somebody, because the Democrats won't be blamed on it, because they'll say, we didn't have anything to do with it. And you know what? We don't, we're not as extreme as he is. And so somebody right, is going to be able to play the middle ground between the evil Republicans and this president, and I think it could get ugly. I think we're in the most dangerous period now than the Republic has been in since the Civil War, from now until probably spring of 2017. Really, civil war? I wonder why that's on his mind. But then we hear the leprechaun uh, repeating the adage in clip two. Let's listen. Here's the effect on the, on the country as a civil war breaks out. You got civil war breaking out. And that's what will happen. All right? So instead of concentrating on the economy and making things better and r r r raising wages, as I propose... But an executive order is not going to cause a civil war. I think... Sure it is if, 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 the, if the Republicans come in and the first thing they do is pass a law to negate this, the uh, executive order, and then the president vetoes that law. It's a civil war, Ed. That's a civil sure, war. It's going to take up months and months it. and months. So, so, so uh, Leprechaun O'Reilly said the word civil war four times. The hemorrhoids said it once that I know of. And I, all I can say is thanks, guys. Imitation is the uh, sincerest form of flattery. Where do you think the words civil war came from? I didn't create the words. But why are they suddenly used in this interview? Where did this come from in his mind? Do you think they read Michael Savage's book, even though they've boycotted it? Uh, yeah. Well, anyway, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, guys, and I surely appreciate that I've gotten into your subconscious.